Hello and welcome dear students. Today we are going to discuss the topic role of education at adolescent stage. The objectives of today's topic will be to study the adolescent as a developmental stage to highlight the role of education at adolescent stage. It has been observed that adolescents who are stressed out physically and mentally tends to show some common visible behavior which is marked by anxiety, mood swing and manifestation of anger, etc. Adolescents have a risk-taking tendency and that tends to experiment with new things. In such circumstances, with peer pressure, they tend to commit such mistakes which may lead them in addiction, drug abuse and uneven sexual relationship. In this hour of crisis, the adolescent needs support as well as correct information or the issues which worry them. So, it is essential for new system of education to understand the behavioral pattern of adolescents as well as realize the importance in guiding the youth for development of a healthy society. The main component of education system are the teachers, the students and the curriculum. The most crucial of these is the teacher. He occupies the key position for the success of any educational program. He is an exclusive role in handling immature children and helping them to become worthy and useful citizens of society. Teachers are supposed to deal with adolescents and therefore teachers need to be familiar with the development pattern of adolescents along with their specific needs, characteristics and problems. The teacher in particular and educational system as a whole has a major role in facilitating overall development of adolescent students. They are enrolled in schools, physical development and education. Several revolutionary changes take place in the bodies of adolescent during this stage. So the education system should be conscious towards their balanced physical development. Physical education should be made compulsory in schools. The teacher should regard this aspect of development as very important and pay much attention. Good school and teacher should see that children have proper physical growth and motor development. Teachers should realize that physical growth and motor development has an important effect upon the behavior of adolescent learner. They should know that there is an individual difference in this era. These individual differences are to be understood, respected and provided for in terms of suitable programs. The educational system, teachers in particular, should provide for adolescent growth in institution through useful activities. Curricular activities. The adolescent is useful for physical strength. The new system of education has to prescribe work experiences which involve physical strength, motor accuracy and coordination of body parts, craft work and other manual work in school like woodwork, sipping, waving, book binding, gardening, tailoring, etc. Co-curricular activities. The play activities, provision of various types of indoor as well as outdoor games in school. These activities are to be introduced as group projects or individual level. Activities like drills, dancing, hiking and gymnastic, football, kabaddi, etc. According to Stanley Hall, dancing can serve the best job. He says dancing is one of the best expression and pure play and pure motor need of the youth. Perhaps it is the most liberal of all forms of motor education. So provision for dance classes for girls at school. 
for proper physical development it is very essential to impart knowledge on physiology of body on scientific lines this enables them to accept these changes as and when they come monthly healthy checkup by the school doctors must be done provision should be made for compulsory physical exercise at morning and evening poor socio economic condition adolescent coming poor socio economic condition or culturally backward areas should be provided balanced diet in schools for proper physical development the future in life depends on sound mind in sound body the school should make an effort to lay down the foundation of sound physical development physical development adolescents are anxious of their physical developments the school should arrange medical examination of all adolescents and proper arrangement of physical and health education should be made compulsory in every school social development and education the spirit of sociability is very intense during adolescence adolescence is the period of increased relationship and contact the school should therefore provide educate and ample opportunities leading to the social growth of the adolescent it should aim at creating such a conducive environment as would develop satisfy social relationship adolescent is a period of strong friendship or hostility adolescent need guidance in development of healthy social relations for this purpose school is the most appropriate place where a variety of activities can be organized to foster development the adolescents should be properly educated on how to develop healthy and desirable relations with their classmates teacher should try to encourage among adolescents social traits social traits group compatibility trait of love kindness sympathetic fair play courtesy politeness dependability cooperation leadership cheerfulness honesty and self decisiveness excursions and field trips may be organized these lead to informal conversation and close contact between members of the group organization of groups such groups should be organized in school the membership of whose will prove good for adolescents in learning proper social behavior and make their character cooperative activities without conflict tours camps clubs organizing dramas shooting etc group games debates seminars conferences may be organized all such activities would mold the character and personality of learner in a desirable direction to organize social function the teacher should organize informal social functions in which students come closer to each other and have an opportunity to understand interests and aspirations of each other social functions should be organized in such a way that must cater to the needs of all types of students to appraise social interests the teacher should make an appraisal of students social interests social acceptance in classroom socio economic conditions and organize activities to foster socialization teacher teachers should reflect sympathetic and affectionate attitude school and community school should become the center of community service in which the students and the community members understand the interests and aspirations of each other emotional development and education adolescent is marked by heightened emotionality emotion like love anger hate jealousy fear worry 
and joy, etc., all reach its peak. In the words of Ross, the adolescent live intensely emotional life in which we can see once more the rhythm of positive and negative phases of behavior. In this constant alteration between intense excitement and deep depression. This is why the period is often stated as the period of stress and strain. Sometimes he is hilarious, but on the other occasion he is depressed. He may develop morbid fear and inferiority complex. The adolescent should be trained in controlling their emotions by education so that stability dawns in their life. The teacher should provide the such environment to the adolescents and organize such co-curricular and co-curricular activities for them that the false beliefs are eradicated and they are able to get rid of their irrelevant anger. The classroom teacher can play an important role to reduce pressure that interfere with adolescent emotional development. Proper training. The adolescent has to face a large number of problems at this stage as such. Proper guidance and counseling should be provided by the teacher and school guidance counselors. A teacher can use devices and methods to control fears of inadequacy in various situations by developing competencies and skills that develop self-confidence, development of resistance. A teacher should help the adolescents to examine themselves and find the cause of failure or frustrations, thus developing in them the resistance to frustrations. Most of the adolescents accept problems of life in a negative way. They are afraid of facing difficult situations in life. Teacher should encourage the adolescent and point some of their plus points. They may also suggest means and methods of achieving the success. This will restore the self-confidence of adolescent. It should be brought into the notice of adolescent that the life is the mixture of failure and success and he must build a power of resistance to face the failure in life. Proper understanding. As the adolescent is be set of problems of divided loyalties accentuated by lack of adult privileges and responsibilities. He is very sensitive and does not welcome any criticism. It becomes the utmost duty of teacher to understand the adolescents and change the attitude towards him. Try to provide him the proper environment for the expression of panther feelings and can suggest the same for parents at home. The teacher should provide desirable affection and sympathy by which they are able to do away with mental tension and struggle. Freedom of action. Freedom of action within a reasonable limit should be provided to adolescent and no unnecessary restrictions should be imposed. Teach the adolescent to relax by providing opportunities for hobbies, cultural activities, catharsis through play, free discussion, drama, etc. Verbalization of feelings. Adolescents should be trained to express their feelings as the verbalization of pent-up emotional feeling relieves mental tension and as emotions put down into words, they became diffused, less intense and manageable. The teacher must develop a clear recognition of desirability of achieving free and constructive expression of emotions, which will result in progress towards the desired goal. The teacher should try to develop the maturity of thinking within the child. The adolescent boys and girls must be allowed to discuss their emotional problems with their parents and with teachers. And they must be provided enough scope to take part in different activities in school. 
health. Poor health of children may cause irritable behavior like worry, anxiety, fear, etc. Teacher should guide them to handle and understand the problem. Picnic and tours. School should organize picnic, excursion and tours to resolve many emotional problems of adolescent. The teacher should treat the adolescent well. They should give him freedom of action within limits. The adolescent should be kept busy with various activities. Moral development and education. One of the causes of increasing restlessness, indiscipline, dishonesty and aimlessness among the youth of India is that there is no proper provision of religion and moral education in our system of education. Ours is a secular state and therefore the doubts are expressed. Provisions of religion instructs inside the school. Actually, the roots and the goals of all religion are one and the same. The essence of all religion is morality. Educational system, educators, Parents should join their hands and creating suitable atmosphere and offering opportunities of practicing moral qualities. This emphasis should be shifted from ritual to ideals. Proper moral education. The adolescent boys and girls should be given religious and moral education by which they are able to differentiate between good and bad, proper and improper, just and unjust, and are able to adapt their behavior to the moral rules of society. The teacher should encourage the adolescent to follow the moral path. Teach them with the life stories of great people and teach them moral literature. The teacher should inculcate these ideals in themselves so that adolescents are able to emulate them. Gathering. Teachers may organize morning assembly in schools, celebrate festivals and national days, undertake visit to backward and slum areas, and render some sort of service to the people living in such areas. Teachers may guide the adolescent by urging that it is their moral duty to be sincere to their institution, community, and nation. They can be involved in activities such as camps, social service, program, community, and school get-together, adult literacy camps, intellectual development, and education. The dramatic physical and psychological change that occur in adolescent may tend to obscure the fact that impressive changes in cognitive development are taking place at the same time. Indeed, it's correct to say that adolescence is the period during which the capacity to acquire and utilize knowledge reaches its peak efficiency. Adolescents by nature are adventurous and inquisitive. They can quench their thirst by their reading stories of great explorations and inventions. The school must have a good library and a school debating society and in every class a discussion group. Problem solving attitude. Effective development can take place if education system provides a variety of rich and concrete experiences and challenging activities for learners. The school surrounds the adolescent with problematic situations. In this process of solving problems and meeting difficulties, the adolescent develop their power of thinking and reasoning. Hence, it's the duty of teachers to avoid too much telling, emphasis on textbooks, and cramming but encourage the use of discussion and socialized teaching. Provision for vocational education. There is a strong desire of achieving independence in adolescent. The adolescent should be given 
aimful vocation and constructive education by which they are able to coordinate their sense organs, hands, eyes, ears and use all these sense organs in development of all round ability which will be helpful in the development of their perception. Yoga and meditation must be included in school curriculum. Arrangement of creative tasks. The adolescent should be provided with maximum opportunity for expression of their feelings by different creative tasks and activities, music, etc. Various types of clubs like music club, art and craft club may be organized to enable the adolescent to develop their creative abilities. Activity for the adolescent should be planned in such a way that the imagination of the young adolescents are directed in right channels and towards creative efforts. Divergent thinking should be encouraged. Vocational guidance. Selection of vocation is a chief problem of adolescents. If they are not able to select a proper occupation, they remain dejected in their life. So, it's the duty of teacher to find out the intelligence viewpoint, thoughts, aptitude, inclination, feeling, interest and special abilities of individuals and accordingly provide them proper vocational guidance so that they are able to adapt a suitable occupation for themselves. The guidance service available at school should provide both educational and vocational guidance to their students. Conducive environment. The most important function of school is to provide conducive environment within school for the proper development of their mental abilities. The school should provide good libraries, opportunities for free discussion. The need of adolescent should be given proper place in school curriculum. Tutorial system. The teacher should keep an eye on every adolescent and try to fulfill his individual needs. The tutorial system must be adopted when necessary. SEC education. SEC plays very dominant role at the age of adolescence. The rapid physiological change, the secretion of SEC hormones, the sudden awakening of SEC instinct and urges all necessitates the provision of adequate sex information and education for adolescents. They should be helped in making adjustment with regard to their newly body changed. Sexual health education is an educational program designed to provide learners with adequate and accurate knowledge about human sexuality in biological psychological and socio-cultural and moral dimensions. Proper direction. Proper sublimation of sex instinct and channelization of sexual energy, forceful inhibition, taboos and restrictions imposed in this direction bring disaster results. Teaching methods, curricular activities. Such teaching methods should be used by which teacher get maximum number of opportunities for development of their observation, experiment, thinking, reasoning, quiz contest, role play, group discussion, decision making exercise and imagination. Opportunities should be given for teaching and debate. The adolescents are generally interested in experimentation and self-examination of objects. Hence, it is suggested that importance should be given on using new dynamic methods of teaching. Different assignments should be given to students on the basis of their intelligence and abilities. Co-curricular activities. The co-curricular activities should be organized in order to give concrete shape to their imagination and dreams by such activities such as poetry, competition, debate, social service, case study, symposium, poetic recitation, games, etc. 
According to Ross, the teaching of subject should be done in a particular manner and they should be related to the practical aspect of daily life. With this, we come to the end of today's lecture. Hope you have enjoyed and understood it very well. Thank you for watching.